Hey guys, welcome. So I have two things to talk about today. One is the dock. You can make it stay. You can also move it to the right, left, and top, and also resize icons. The second is part of the same tool that can actually do yourself a slideshow, and my current slideshow is set for four seconds. I can change that to seconds, minutes, or hours. The wallpapers are currently coming from uh, Bing, and I can certainly change that to any personal folder I want. So this is Fedora 42 workstation. I am filming in 4K in Wayland today at 200%. So today I'm going to talk about a tool that can install both those things. Now head on over to your software store if you want to install these because they do not come installed and you look for extension manager. Extension manager has the blue puzzle piece, not the green one. All right, if you get the ones confused. So in either case, you will have to manually install these through browse or uh, install the extension dash to dock if you want to have the dock um, permanently placed there or left, right, or wherever. And then the other tool is called Wallpaper Slideshow. Both of these have to be, actually they don't have to be configured, but I would probably look into at least a couple of settings. I'll start with dash. So uh, basically your icon sizes are done this way. I'll stick them to wherever that is, 40 something. And uh, then we can move that from the left to the right and also to the top. Now the intelligent auto hide is turned on by default and it has a couple of more settings. So if you increase that beyond like uh, somewhere in that range, you'll probably notice that auto went and auto hit itself and you can just bring your mouse cursor up in the air and it'll come back on you. Okay, default is bottom. You can also limit the size of the dock itself. All right, there's lots of options in here, including these others. I'm just gonna move on from there. So the wallpaper slideshow, again, is another extension you need to install if you want it. You can uh, start the configuration here if you like, or you can just close this and then configure it from here. The multifunction icon has this built in once the extension is installed. All right, I'm going to click the arrow and click slideshow settings. So currently they're coming from Bing, but this folder actually was created by me. But the wallpapers were downloaded from Bing. So, but the way I basically, uh, it, I'm going to advocate that to you, you're certainly not stuck with your pictures folder. You know, if you want to use your pictures folder, that's fine. But there's a lot of people that don't want to use that for wallpaper, whether it's private photos or something they just don't want to display. You can certainly, um, I'll make this a little bit larger on the fly for you, right click and create your folders. So I called this first one Bing and Bing actually downloaded these eight automatically. But you can also create other folders, call it wallpapers, transfer some of the photos that you want in there and then transfer maybe possibly some other wallpapers you got off the internet. So in either case, if you want to do the Bing thing, um, you can select the folder, but over here, you'll need to select it there also where the download is going to occur. So you activate that and it's going to download to that folder, whatever that name you gave it. You can just leave the defaults. And um, when I, my experience was when I did this this morning, it downloaded eight of them. All right, let's say you don't want to do that though. You want to use your own photos. Well, then hit the plus key. Do you want to use your pictures folder? Or do you have something else in mind? Because you can create personal folders and put in specific ones instead of using your whole pictures folder. I'm just going to use mine. All right, the slideshow sorting is random and you can of course change that. Maybe to newest, oldest. A to Z, Z to A, that kind of thing. This is automatically on shuffle slideshow on completion. You can turn it off. And then the duration will go to one second, minute, hours. I have it currently set for four seconds. That's why it's changing so quickly. I'm working my graphics card pretty hard. So I will crank this up to let's say 12 seconds. All right, I have this setting on, off, sorry, off, absolute time. Uh, slide duration. I have that off, but you can turn it on. Um, you have your slide controls, which are also in the submenu. 
um, for the pause, the next, and the previous. Okay, that's pretty simple and self-explanatory, I think. Slideshow, control, and quick settings menu you probably want. In other words, here. And then, uh, how do you want it to handle your wallpaper? Since I'm in 4K, I'm using Zoom. Because some of the images that I have are smaller than 4K. In either case, if you choose another option, uh, you may want to investigate the background color options if the images are really small because otherwise you get bars and all kinds of stuff that it doesn't fill in. And you can choose that or a gradient even, vertical or horizontal. So there are quite a few tools. Probably the most important one is where is it coming from and how long. All right. And again, you can just go directly to this menu if you just want to do the instant pause back on or you can also use that and then go to the next image or the next image whichever i got weird images i've had this one for years wallpaperswide.com is where i got that maybe my subscription logo may be covering part of that but that says wallpaperswide.com all right so in either case if you want either one of these tools whether it be the dock or the wallpaper thing it's extension manager and install dash to dock and wallpaper slideshow. Thanks for watching.